Hey guys, welcome back to Cody Crafted. Uh, today we've got this Jeep four-door JK that needs Moss petrol. All right, so customer likes to go do exploring. And actually his wife told me that there were some petroglyphs out near Moab that she didn't get to see because they had to go to town for fuel. And uh, I cannot deny people the viewing of artwork. I mean, who am I to hold you back from seeing petroglyphs? You shall not be denied. That's right. That's right. We're here to motivate, inspire, and facilitate. And with that... Let's put in a tank. Let's put in a tank. Click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you would like more content, follow social media at Cody Crafted on Instagram. All right, so this is the 15 and a half gallon LRA auxiliary tank for four door JKs. Um, this one we have already done the prep on, so we got our fittings pre installed. We put the magnet in down underneath the sender. We've uh, snug this up, put the fittings in our filler neck, prep this filler neck, head back over to the truck. Steve's our wiring guru today. Shout out to Steve-O, as always. And so what I have found on the JKs is actually right here next to the cup holders is your best place. Um, if you don't have room because of this connector, you can drop it down and, and it'll give you the depth you need for the switch for the LRA. There is like no space behind here. Uh, and you're gonna spend a whole lot of time trying to get in there and trying to get this dash apart. And in my opinion, it's not worth it. And you gotta charge a customer a bunch extra. This is a really good spot. Uh, it also allows you to go straight under the carpet right down in here, chase out to the body plug underneath and fuel tank. See our console right here. So you got just enough depth on the inside to get that done. It locates under the right hand stud from the park brake cable support and four tech screws along the rear. Okay, parking brake cable. This is where he's gonna make me look. Right here. I'm so assuming that's this piece right here, but I'm not finding anything that lines up. No, right. in the stock configuration, the parking brake cables, I believe, go right here. But now we don't have whatever's supposed to be there. Well, the right. stud's there. So, or, is it angled or is it straight? On this side. On this side. Right there. Okay, so these go into, I think, I think they go into this cross member if I remember correctly. And then that stud goes right in here. And I think that whole thing sits in this vicinity. I'm, I was looking for space over here still. So I wanted to show you guys this, talking about needing to be a professional installer versus, you know, dudes in their driveway. Nothing against dudes in their driveway. I've been doing my driveway many times. Can you guys see this bolt? I don't know if I can. All right. This bolt right here. That the pliers are on. Let me get a flashlight. Interesting. Got it. Okay. This bolt right here that the pliers are stuck on, you will notice that it is uh, right above the freaking shock mount. And that's what you have to do to get the filler out. And you have to cut the filler. And it runs from up here, down, under here, across, and then it goes that way. So yeah, it's awesome. Okay. What had happened was, um, since the parking brake stud, not the two studs on video, but the parking brake stud. Hey. Um, had been already relocated and we have the stud but we no longer have the nut that goes on the stud we got plenty of hardware it's cool don't worry about it should i find hardware or just use this until we run out and then we'll find hardware we have the fuck it bucket it's no problem 
Oh, I thought that was a completely different thing. I thought that was an after hours thing. I've been doing it wrong. No. It's hot as balls, y'all. It's late May and it's like 900% humidity and uh, 643 degrees. Why you need so much foil? Well, it gets nine, like my truck does. So, took a Jeep to got 16 or 19 or 18, and now it gets single digits. Okie dokie! Yeah, we have 7,000 pounds. You, you too need to add 7,000 more pounds to it. 50 gallons of fuel. I guess this is where you probably want to pause for lunch. Yeah, Everything I'm hungry. Is, every So all I have to find is ground and a power? Ground and a power. <laughs> Alright guys, we got Mr. Gary's Jeep with everything ready to go. And as you can see, installed here, got our pump on, pumps off. Things all purdy, no leaks, no rattles. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll see you guys on the next Cody Graphic.